You mentioned trade. Will you make a commitment to, in 2010, having Congress pass the pending South Korea Free Trade Agreement? We are going to be discussing this with South Korea. I want to get the deal done. Uh, in 2010? Well, you know, the question is whether we can get it done in the beginning of 2010, whether we can get it done at the, at the end of 2010. There's still some details that need to be worked out. Overall, I think it's a potential good deal for U.S. exporters, but there are certain sectors uh, of the economy that aren't dealt with uh, as effectively, and that's something that I'm going to be talking to President Lee about. You said in Shanghai, quote, it makes me a better leader. This is talking about criticism that you mm -hmm. receive. It makes me a better leader because it forces me to hear opinions that I don't want to hear. Can you give me an example? Oh, I, I figure I, I would... Uh... Where criticism has made you a better leader. Well, I, you know, I think that, for example, um, when I'm thinking about Afghanistan right now, uh, you've got strong voices on both sides in a very complex issue. Uh, there are voices who say this is a quagmire and we're wasting our resources and endangering our young men and women's lives and we should just focus on Pakistan uh, and Al-Qaeda that's in Pakistan. Uh, there are those who say we've got to go all in and commit and rebuild Afghanistan so it's a stable, just society. Uh, you know, if I was just hearing one side, then I would probably not be getting the full reality of what's going on in Afghanistan, which is, is that, yes, we have a vital interest there. Yes, we have to make sure that we don't get mission creep, that we define our interests narrowly to make sure that uh, we're just going after extremists and uh, preventing them from having safe havens. Yes, we've got to have a, an effective Afghan government, and right now we don't have the kind of partner that we'd like. Uh, yes, we've got to have Pakistan cooperating. Yes, we've got to have more civilian uh, cooperation. So all those variables then go into uh, the decision-making process. And, and as I said, if I was just listening to hawks or doves on either side of the debate, then I probably wouldn't be making a very good decision. Yes or no? Are you going to read Sarah Palin's book? <laughs> you know, uh, I, I probably will not, uh, but I wish her well. Uh, you know, the, uh, it looks like she's going to do very well uh, without my readership. The Israelis have announced the intentions to put more settlements in Gilo, I believe is the name of this area. Uh, how ho helpful or hurtful to the process is that? And do you consider a rebuke of your efforts to stop those settlements? Well, there's no doubt that I haven't been able to stop the settlements. And there's also not, no doubt from my perspective that it's in not only U.S. interests, but actually Israeli interests to uh, not build settlements. Uh, look, the, the, the situation in uh, the Middle East is very difficult. And uh, I've said repeatedly, and I'll, I'll say again, uh, Israel's security uh, is a vital national interest of the United States, and we will make sure that they are secure. Uh, I think that additional settlement building does not uh, contribute to Israel's security. I think it makes it harder for them to make peace with their neighbors. Uh, I think it embitters the Palestinians in a way that could end up being very dangerous. And it makes, makes it hard to, to relaunch any kind of serious talks about how you achieve a two-state solution. Mr. President, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Coming up, the Fox All-Stars break down.